Okay, here we go again, YouTube. Tom here making another video, and I look about as washed out as usual. Band-Aid on the tip of my nose for uh, what I think I've been told is um, irritated rosacea. Boy, what happens to you when you get, uh, when you turn a certain age? It seems like some people age gracefully, and other people, uh, other people seem to... Uh, <laughs> get hit by the uh, bomb. My father age, aged real well, and my mother was the one that kind of ended up, um, eh. I think she had white hair when she was about uh, 38, and I think I'm uh, going with her there, and um, I, anyway, uh, genetics, what a wonderful thing. So I've been doing more thinking about um, progression and secondary progressive and like what the heck do you do about it um do you sit in your archie bunker chair and fidget um i don't recommend it but in trying to at least back when i was on the natalizumab or the ty sabri um it just, I don't know, it must have controlled inflammation or something. Um, it actually brought my baseline back um, the highest it had ever been since uh, my worst MS attack. Uh, my worst MS attack, I think, was in 2005, although it looks like I'm trying to uh, compete with that. Um, but it was interesting, and my apologies if I told the story before. I was uh, bit by a tick in the fall of 2004. And the little bugger's head stayed in my leg over uh, the winter and healed in perfectly. And I didn't know that I had a tick head in the back of my leg. No pain, no nothing. And uh, so I... Uh, felt the back of my leg. I was still pretty uh, physically fit. I was about uh, 31. And uh, I just said, what's this little lump? And I gave it, you know, gave it a little pinch and uh, it was infected. As a matter of fact, I had a full-blown abscess in the back of my leg. I didn't know it. And um, so I went to my GP, felt, still felt pretty good. Um, and, uh, he did Western blot, stuff like that, gave me the line that, oh, you can form a skin plug and stuff like that, and I, I even had something wrapped up in a little piece of plastic that looked like a, uh, pincher, pin, uh, pincher, or maybe the, um, first two legs of a tick. Anyway. Bottom line, to make a long, boring story short, that basically was the beginning of the uh, end of life as I knew it. And the only reason I bring it up is because, um, how can it be? Anyway, this is what happened. About a month after that thing uh, abscessed, I'm on a couch, much like I am now, leaning back, with my head up against an air conditioner, running a fever of about 99.7 for the next four months. I don't know what the MRI showed, but I asked my neurologist at the time, I said, was that an MS attack? Because it dropped my weight. I was, I was anorexic. I was, uh, you name it. I was basically erased and I had to uh, come back. But... Ever since then, it's been ebbs and flows, but never the same again. I could never really drive well again. I could never really concentrate that well again. I, uh, my appearance changed. Um, the facial integrity changed. Um, it was uh, just uh, global. And uh, it's almost like I had to relearn how to uh, 